Hello everybody and thank you for watching once again. Today we're going to be cleaning a skunk skull. So I want to warn you before we get into the video, this is very graphic and if you're not prepared to see this, um, if you've got a weak stomach or something, please tune off this because it's going to be very graphic and it's going to show how to clean it properly. So if you didn't come to see that, then go away. I don't know why you're watching this video anyway. So the first step we're going to do here is we've got the skunk. I'm going to just put the head right in this water and then we're going to go ahead and boil it and let it cook for a little bit and that will just make sure all the meat is detaching from the bone and that will help us later on when we're going to remove that meat. So I actually did boil over and right here, that's our skull right here, it looks pretty nice so we're just going to take it out and then we're going to go outside and get the power washer ready and get the meat off the skull. So here's our skunk skull and we're going to just put it down here on the concrete floor, make sure it's always cement, never put it on dirt because that's of course it's going to get all muddied up with the pressure washer here. I use the pressure washer, simplest thing. Um, you can get one of these at Harbor Freight, so 1600 PSI, very simple and very affordable. Um, and I'll just kind of put my boots around it here, kind of spray on it. So we'll guys set you up and hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy this little video. So what I'm doing right now is I'm removing the bottom jaw from the rest of the skull so then we can clean the rest of the skull better. Okay guys, now that we've got our skull in the pot right here, we're going to put some 40% by volume liquid peroxide in here and what that's going to do is it's going to make sure there's none of this coloration it's all going to be really nice and white all around. So we're going to put that in and we're going to cook it until it boils and then we'll be good. So guys, we're going to pull out our skunk here. It's been boiling for about 50 to 20 minutes. But anyway, here's what the skull looks like. A lot of that coloration has been gone. You can see it's a little yellow on this one in particular, but we'll have to figure out some other way to do that. But that's how it does. You know, you really just don't want that dark coloration. That's really what you're trying to avoid. The camera looks at, makes it look a little yellower than it actually is. Um, and probably with the light too. Anyway, I'm going to pull out that bottom jaw. I really like that. Uh, a lot of times, you know, the bobcats, I can't keep their bottom jaw because they got to turn them into the game fish, but it's really neat to see these kind of critters with their bottom jaws on. It's a little bit dry. It looks dry, and the way we fix that is we have a little um, flooring sealant mopping glow solution, and what that will do is it'll actually preserve it. We'll go get this guy dried up and then get the mopping glow on him. So guys, I've actually waited well over a day to get this mop a glow on this skull here and make sure it's all dried out so it's looking pretty good a lot of that yellow that was there last night is actually removed just because it's kind of soaked into it it was just a little bit of wetness so that's what the skull looks like pretty nice um, and this mop a glow solution um, I get this from Home Depot or Walmart really any convenience store should sell it but the way we apply it is we get a paper towel and fold it into fours there and then you want to put some on the paper towel there you could use a paintbrush or something else, but this is a very simple and cheap method if you don't have a paintbrush. And it's just kind of rub it on. And you want to actually do a, a good few coats on there. Just make sure it actually will stay in because this can last a lifetime if you apply it properly. So just kind of put it on like that. Um, all over the skull. Don't miss a single crevice or nook or cranny in this whole skull because you want to make sure this whole thing is going to be preserved for a lifetime. So um, we'll go get this done and then we'll show you what it looks like. So we finished sealing the skull and I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. It's a really simple one. This was actually only two days in the works, you know, including the whole time we had to let it dry. So it's a very simple, very quick method. You don't have to wait a week for maggots or whatnot to eat through uh, all that meat. It's just very simple easy way to clean off your skull so make sure you're using a pressure washer not a high powered hose because there's a big difference um and I saw somebody do that it was kind of funny because a hose is not going to do the trick you can use a knife and just kind of pull that meat off but it's going to be a lot longer and a lot of work to do it but that's how it looks really pleased with the results 
Um, all the instructions will be down in the description below. If you want to have like a paper printout, you can do that because um, sometimes it might be hard to keep on going back and forth through the video. But here's what it looks like. Just simple. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.